so here i've chopped up two onions and one medium sized tomato and few strands of coriander leaves and some curry leaves this is ginger garlic paste and this is about three medium sized green chilies so for the tatka i've, I've taken one spoon of mustard seeds this is one spoon of urad dal and this is about half a spoon of chana dal and turmeric powder kashmiri chili powder and if you want to skip this step you can skip out and this is cumin powder about 1 tablespoon and required salt so i've just taken three medium sized potatoes and just boiled them and i just smashed them with the help of a spoon so it looks like this so just smash it like this so that it breaks into smaller pieces so in a karai i'm going to take about 2 tablespoons of oil here so i'm using refined oil here to that i'm going to add mustard seeds chana dal and followed by urad dal so this gives nice crunchiness to the potato masala so you can add cashew nuts also stir them really well make sure to keep the flame on medium and after they turn brown in color add curry leaves and then followed by two medium sized onion that are finely chopped so stir them really well so now i've taken three green chilies and cut it into pieces i'm adding that and then followed by ginger garlic paste it's about a one spoon stir them really well so that the ginger garlic gets combined with the onion so cover it with the lid and cook it for 3 minutes or until the onions are softened so it's been 3 minutes the onions are nicely softened now i'm going to add in one medium sized tomatoes that are sliced into fine pieces so add the required salt at this stage and again stir it really well and close the lid and again cook it for about 5 minutes or until the tomatoes are softened so now the tomatoes are really soft now it's time to add in the masalas so i'm adding turmeric powder cumin powder kashmiri chilli powder stir it really well until the masalas are well combined so now i'm going to add the boiled potatoes so i've taken three medium sized potatoes boil them peel the skin and smash them now i'm going to add a little bit little and stir it really well so that the masala gets well in gets well into the potatoes so stir 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 until the masalas are well combined and i'm now i'm going to add a dash of water and close the lid for 5 to 7 minutes or until the masalas are well cooked there should be no raw smell so i'm just closing the lid and cooking it for 5 to 7 minutes so now the potato masala for the dosa is absolutely ready garnish it with finely chopped coriander leaves So I've taken a dosa pan. To that, I'm going to take a small onion and rub it so that the dosa won't stick to the pan. So now I'm going to take a ladle full of batter and spreading it evenly. Make sure to spread it thinner so that your dosa will be crispier. So drizzle some oil all over the corners of the dosa. So using the spatula, just spread the batter like this. Make sure to keep the flame on medium high. And so with the help of the spatula, just take out the corners. So after they turn brown. add the potato masala like this spread it evenly
and now flip the other side of the dosa this dosa is cooked completely it is crispier and now the masala dosa is absolutely ready you can serve it with hot sambar chutney it will be delicious try it at home and comment me below